A Bucks player arrested at a New York airport for illegal carrying a gun. How big of a deal is this really tonight? And is his future with the Bucks now in jeopardy because of it? From Tampa Bay's number one news station, this is the Fox 13 5 o'clock news. A Tampa Bay Buccaneer is in trouble after being arrested on a gun charge. It happened at New York's LaGuardia Airport. Daquan Bowers is free on bond, but if convicted, could go to prison. Fox 14's Gloria Gomez talked to a professional athlete about Bowers' arrest and guns in the NFL. Tampa Bay Buccaneer Daquan Bowers bonded out of jail Tuesday after he was arrested for carrying a loaded weapon at New York's LaGuardia Airport on Monday. The defensive end alerted authorities that he had a loaded 40 caliber handgun in his carry-on bag. Following his arrest, so many unanswered questions, including why Bowers was carrying a loaded gun in the first place. I don't know why anybody would carry a weapon on an airplane that is not a, an officer. Um, that is out to protect the interest and the safety of the public. At his Tampa home on Tuesday, no one answered the door, but Bowers' famous neighbor was talking. Very sad, you know, I mean, because from what I've seen, he's a pretty solid player. Former Major League Baseball player Mark Witten, who played for the Blue Jays and Red Sox, was surprised to hear of Bowers' arrest. Got to be smarter than that, man. You know, as a professional athlete, you know, you, you carry it for your safety sometimes, but you got to know not to take it through the airport. Really? <laughs> you know, that ain't too smart. As a ball player, Witten says he never carried a gun and doesn't own one today, but he believes the culture in the NFL is much different. It's mostly football players. I guess they're, I don't know, I, I can't explain it, man. It just seems like they just feel like they need that extra security, I guess, you know, being who they are. I feel, I guess they feel like they're targeted or something. But, uh, you know, me, having been around the sport for a while, you know, I, I don't see the necessary. I mean, these football players, who's going to mess with them? Witten says Bowers has been renting the home near him for just under a year. He says Bowers is a good neighbor who made a big mistake, but doesn't think it will cost him his job with the Bucks. I know I wouldn't let him go because of that. It'll be, I mean, you'll be biting yourself in the foot. He's a great player. Gloria Gomez, Fox 13 News. And the New York Post says that Bowers told police he carried the gun on a plane three days when he flew to New York and it went undetected. The Post also says that Bowers purchased the gun legally here in Florida. Fox 13 was not able to verify whether or not Bowers has a concealed weapons permit. That information is not public record. We want to bring in our sports director now, Chip Carter here. Uh, is Mark Witten right here when he talks about there being potentially a lot of guns in the NFL or at least owned by the players. He is absolutely correct. There are a lot of guns right now in the NFL. You know, in fact, every year at training camp when he was with the Colts, Tony Dungy would ask players that own guns to raise their hands. He said he did that in front of 80 players and 65 raised their hands. That number stunned him a little bit. He told them to make sure they registered those guns in Indiana. Now, this isn't new, though, I'll tell you that. For years, NFL players have owned guns. In fact, if you go back 10 years ago to 2003, Three, Mike Freeman in the New York Times wrote that weapons, including military-style assault rifles, can be found in players' homes, cars, and sometimes lockers. In fact, last year in a USA Today poll, the paper reports that three out of four players in the NFL own a gun. That's 75% of the league compared to the 40 to 45% of the U.S. population that own guns. So, I mean, there is a gun culture. Last year, there were over 16 million applications to buy a weapon in the U.S., which is a record, and that doesn't count the guns sold at gun shows, etc. So, NFL players are justifiably, I think, at times concerned about their own personal personal safety. They're buying weapons and that creates what many think is a, go a gun culture in the league. Yeah, I mean, l let's be fair. A lot of them can have a lot of money. A lot of them may right. carry a lot of money, so they can find themselves targets even though they may be 250, 300 pounds at the right, time. Right, absolutely. But I hear a lot of them say, well, we need it for our protection, which which is fine, but you've got to know these laws. Oh, you definitely have to go to that. But the thing is, this happens actually quite a bit in New York. I started to really research it and let's say you follow all the laws in Texas, but you fly to New York, there are laws are completely different, they're completely stricter and a lot tougher. You land in New York with a gun like that, felony. Yeah. All right. We'll see what happens. Chip, All right. Thanks.